Dear students, now we are going to discuss the realization of full adder using half adders. Implementation of full adder using half adders. It is a very important question. Okay. So here, a full adder can be implemented using two half adders and one argument. The Boolean expression for the sum is equal to A XR with B XR with C. Here, the carry expression is equal to AB plus ACN plus BC. Okay. So, in order to obtain the full adder in terms of half adder, we have to convert this expression in terms of XR format. For that, we have to simplify this carry expression. So, here we are going to use the method like this. Simplification method like this. So, A, B, S, H plus A, C, N. Which term is missed of B? So, we are going to multiply this term with B plus B bar. Because we know that B plus B bar, B bar is nothing but 1. So, plus B into C, N. Which term is missed of A? So, B into C, N multiplied with A plus A bar. So, A plus A bar is nothing but 1. Okay. So, next step A, B plus a, we have to multiply inside. So, we can get A, B, C in plus A, B bar, C. Likewise here, A, B, C in plus A bar, B, C in. So, in the next step, we are going to take the common term. So, here A, B is there, here A, B is there and here also A, B is there. So, we can take the common term outside. We can obtain A, B of here it is 1. This term becomes 1. This term is C in plus. Here it is C in. So 1 plus C in plus C in. So 1 plus any bit is equal to 1 always. Correct? That is the Boolean postulates. So 1 plus any bits, it's always 1. So this term becomes AB. Okay, because this value becomes 1. So here it is AB plus here. C in is a common one. Okay, so here C in is a common one. We can take it outside from this two expression. So the remaining term is A B bar plus A bar B. So now we can obtain the XR operation of A and B. So here we can write C in multiplied with A XR with B. So now we have simplified the given carry expression in terms of XR gate. Okay. So, for these two expressions, we are going to draw the full ladder circuit. So, here we can see A, B, C. So, what is the sum? The sum is nothing but A, XR with B, XR with C. So, A, B is given to one XR. The output is A, XR with B. And C in is given as the input to the second XR gate. So, for this second XR gate, one input is from the first XR gate that is A XR with B. And the second one value is directly as C in. So, here it is C in. It is A XR with B. So, finally we can obtain A XR with B XR with C. That is the value of sum. So, next we are going to obtain carry. Correct. For this carry, we have to multiply this A and B as such. So, A and B is given, both are given to AND gate, we can obtain AB. So, what is the next one? We have to multiply C in with A XR with B. So, the output of the first XR gate is A XR with B here. So, that is taken here. Okay, here it is A XR with B. Okay, and the C in is going the right. From that we can take C in here. So now we can obtain C in multiplied with A XR with B. So what is carry? A B plus C in A XR with B. So now the output of these two AND gates are added together using one R gate. Okay, so now we can obtain carry from this R gate. So, from this circuit, we can tell the first XR along with the AND gate is a half adder. 
So here we are having one more XR with AND gate. It looks like a half adder. So we are having two half adders along with one R gate to realize the full adder cycle. So simply we can say here AB is given. Both are given as a input to first half adder. So we can obtain two outputs. One is A XR with B. Another one is product of A and B. Okay. So next C in is the third input for full adder. So we are going to give the C in directly to the second half adder. Output of the first half adder A XR with B is a another input. So from this we can obtain the sum as such. And this A B and the C in together forms the R operation. So this is the realization of full adder using half adder. It is very very important one. So let me draw the realization of full adder using half adder here. So first we are going to draw the sum. Okay. So here A, B. These two inputs are given to one XR gate. From this we can obtain A XR with B. Correct. But we need to have A XR with B, XR with C. So for that we need to have one more input C. So what we are going to do, we are going to give this C to one more XR gate. So now one input is A XR with B, another input is C. So finally we can get A plus B XR. It is not plus, it is XR and C. This is the sum. So now we are going to draw the circuit for carry. So carry means A into B. So for that we have to multiply these two values. So we can get A, B here. Fine. So what is the next step? We are going to multiply this XR value with one bit C. Okay. So this is A, B. Okay. So next we are going to multiply the C with this XR. So for that we are going to take this value A, XR with B and this C. Okay. So and give a, both are given as an input to another AND gate. So now we have got A, B and C into A plus B. So these two are going to be added together. So for that we have to take this A, B and this value. Both are given to one R gate. So here we can add these two values. This is nothing but C into a plus B. Okay. So here it is nothing but AB. Finally we can obtain C. Okay. So this portion denotes one half adder. This portion denotes the second half adder.